As we begin another fall, we're going to address the subject of your year-end appeal strategy, arguably the most important three months of the entire year. An effective year-end strategy consists of four components, list segmentation, direct mail and email marketing, phone calls, and lastly, personal visits. This strategy usually starts at the beginning of October, ramps up in mid-November, and ends December 31st. About 20 years ago, I learned a very valuable lesson about the mindset of a partner and the importance of asking. I had a partner who gave consistently a very significant amount of money every year end. I would send him a letter, he would send a gift. That happened for quite a long time. One year end I got very busy and thought, well this person gives consistently and has done so for years, the same time every year at year end. So I decided to skip sending a letter to him that year. About February I noticed that I never got a year end gift from him. So I immediately picked up the phone and called him. His response was very sobering. He said, Jim, I didn't get a letter from you this year, so my assumption was that you didn't need any money. That hit me like a ton of bricks. I realized how important it was to send that reminder to him to ask for money. Normally you would think partners realize that every nonprofit organization needs money at year end, but him saying to me, Jim, I didn't think that you had any needs because I didn't hear from you was definitely very sobering and I learned a very valuable lesson that I should never assume that someone knows that we have needs and that I should always ask when the opportunity presents itself. Learned a valuable lesson that day. It is very important that you begin with a basic overall understanding of your list and especially how it will be segmented. You should have a separate strategy for your suspects and prospects and your current partners or donors, especially considering you will want to give special attention to your larger partners. For specifics in this area, please watch my video on segmenting your list for success. Suspects and prospects should be sent dear friend letters and emails introducing them to the organization and include a story of one life that was changed as a result of your effective strategies and present an opportunity to give a current gift or to an endeavor at year end or at the end of a calendar year. Current partners should be segmented into different giving levels and unique strategies should be developed for each segment. First, partners who have given a largest single gift over the past 12 months, $1 to $9.99, should be sent a dear friend letter and or email thanking them for their partnership, highlighting an individual life that was changed as a result of their giving this past year, and an opportunity to give to a current or new endeavor heading into year end or into a new calendar year. You should offer a very specific appeal, something like, will you consider a gift of X dollars before December 31st? A sense of urgency or a specific deadline is always effective when you can use possible. A typical giving range at this level is 100, 250, or 500, and a monthly option could also be offered. Second, partners who have given 1,000 to 499 should be sent a personalized letter or email thanking them for their partnership, highlighting an individual life that was changed as a result of their gift, and an opportunity to give to a current or new endeavor heading into year end or into a new calendar year. A very specific appeal should occur, suggesting Mr. and Mrs. Jones, will you consider a gift of X dollars before December 31st? Once again, urgency or deadline is always effective with letters and emails. A typical giving range for this level is $1,000, $2,500, or $5,000. But in addition to a letter and email, at the end you should include, I or one of my representatives will call to see what you have decided. This group should then be called within 7 to 10 days after mailing the letter or sending the email. 
Current partners who have given a largest single gift of more than 5,000 or essentially 20% who have given 80% of your total income should be sent a personalized letter or email once again thanking them for their partnership, highlighting an individual life that was changed as a result of their gift this year and an opportunity to give to a current or new endeavor heading into year end or a new calendar year. A very specific appeal should occur. Something like, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, will you consider a gift of blank before December 31st? Once again, urgency and a deadline, always effective. A typical giving range for this level is 5,000, 10,000, or 15,000, and would be best if you could meet with these partners individually to discuss the letter or email, giving opportunities for the appeal should be targeted. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, will you consider a gift of $10,000 to help fund XYZ project at your end? These appointments could start as early as November 1 and shouldn't go much past December 15th, although exceptions could be made for people who do their giving the very last week of the calendar year. It should be noted that over the years, more partners are giving their year-end gifts earlier and earlier. 20 to 30 years ago, year-end gifts were given between Christmas and New Year's, then went to mid-December, then early December, then mid to late November, and now there's many who give year-end gifts the first few weeks of December. This appears to be due to early planning on the part of donors and their accountants or tax advisors. It's also important to consider a year-end gift for your partners who give 80% of the income to your organization. Those could be either gifts at Thanksgiving or as a way of thanking them for a year of faithful partnerships or early December as a Christmas gift. Gifts range from anything as small as a book, mug, or bookmark to something as large as a plaque, ornament, glass globe, or something similar. To get the fullest out of your year-end strategy, do as many of these things that are recommended in the video as possible. But if all you can do is focus in on doing something special for the 20% that brings in 80% of your dollars, that will maximize your effectiveness. If you like this video, please click on the companion videos here entitled Segmenting for Success or Conducting a Successful Virtual Event and be sure to hit the subscribe button to get in on the inside track to future videos and post a comment below if there were things that you especially liked. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.